You're watching First Take, presented by Chase. Back in 2011, Broncos quarterback Peyton Manning had three surgeries on his neck. Since then, Manning told Monday Morning Quarterbacks Peter King that he can feel his fingertips. I can't feel anything in my fingertips. It's crazy. I've talked to a doctor recently who said, don't count on the feeling coming back. It was hard for me for about two years because one doctor told me I could wake up any morning and it might come back. So you wake up every day thinking today's the day. Then it's not. Manning's numbers are actually better without feeling in his fingertips. His completion percentage, yard, uh, excuse me, yard per attempt and TD percentage are also up with his interception percentage going down. Jerome? Maybe mind over matter. Jerome Bett is still here with us. How much does Peyton have left here? If, if the year before is any indication to, you know, the next year, it, it tells me that he's got really as long as he really wants to play. I mean, at least two years uh, left to play at a very high level, I would have to think. Uh, here's when you look at Peyton Manning, he keeps himself in great shape. He's, I mean, he's this very cerebral guy. He understands everything there is about the game. And he's constantly evolving, wanting to learn more. Uh, and then you look at him physically, he's doing everything he needs to do. Uh, the only question is him getting hit. If he continues to get hit, like he got hit last year, uh, maybe not the year before, but a yeah. couple of years past, that's the only thing that I think that can, that can derail him in the sense of him not playing um, for another two years. But I see, I see two years at the very least really? at a very high level uh, this year and next year at a very high level. Wow. Stephen A. I can't believe this is even a discussion. The last couple of years, not feeling his fingertips, Peyton Manning threw for 5,477 yards, 55 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions in 2013, completing 68.3% of his passes. And then last year, he completed 66% of his passes, threw 39 touchdowns, 15 interceptions. And there are questions. What questions? If he's not thinking, feeling his fingertips, what every NFL quarterback needs to do is to go to the doctor and say, can you find a way to numb my fingertips so I can't feel them either? <laughs> if that's going to lead to me throwing like this, brother? I mean, come on now. I mean, when, with, with Peyton Manning, here's what it comes down to. You got to watch him as the season wanes because it's taxing on the body, especially when you're taking those hits. And if that's, to me, that's the only question mark about Peyton Manning. How much durability does he really, really have? We know he's been there, but in the playoffs last year, he looked like a shell of himself because the players said and knew he was not anywhere near 100%. He tried to play, but he just didn't have it because he had gotten banged up. Something like that happens again, we'll see. But if he's healthy, I don't care about his fingertips. It doesn't seem to affect his play at all. Although, Stephen A., even you said late last year he was taking such a pounding, especially that one game that you kept pointing to, the game at St. Louis. Louis. He just got rocked, yep. man. It, 22 like, to 7. He, I don't he think got, they were got, ready for that, beat and he wasn't ready for it. And I'm not sure, even though it was a physical pounding, I'm not sure that mentally he got over that pounding. Then he had the quad injury at San Diego, and then he was a shell of himself. Yeah. Now, down the stretch, they became as devastating a run team as there was in the NFL, and I believe that will continue this year. But I'm surprised you're, you, Stephen, are saying what you're saying, because I thought near the end of last year, you thought he might be one and done, one more year and done, right? That's, that's how I remember it. Well, yeah, I, that's exactly, because when we saw how he got beat up against St. Louis and then how he looked in that play, the playoff game, and if you remember, in the games leading up to the postseason, those last several regular season games, they were running the ball considerably more than usual in a clear effort to protect Peyton Manning, who didn't seem like himself. That's, that's what sparked the debate more so than anything else. Okay. So for me, I, I'm surprised you're in that mode of he could sort of play as long as he wants to. I, I was thinking going into this year that this could be a swan song year, just depending on how, the punishment factor, because he did take a lot really down the stretch, but especially at St. Louis. He, he can't take that in his late 30s going toward 40. You, you just you can't live with that because you don't want to live with that. He, he's better than that. He, 
He's got broadcasting. I don't know. He could be. He could probably be just about anything he wanted to be <laughs> in a second right. career, right? Yeah. So to me, I, I'm with you guys. To reiterate your points, the feeling in your fingertips has to be way overrated because his QBR was first in the NFL that first year in Denver, first the second year, and it plummeted to third last year behind right. Romo and Rodgers, and, and Tony Romo had off-the-chart QBR last year. So first, first, and third, I thought he should have been MVP the first year, and Adrian Peterson got it, then Peyton was the MVP the second year. Well, well this is an incredible stretch that he's had, and one key stat, over those three years, on passes of 20 plus yards, he has led the NFL in completion percentage on those passes. He's 48% on 20 plus yard passes. So your your gripping of the football, it, it it just doesn't matter if you can feel your fingertips because his hand strength and his arm strength is still good enough. Obviously, because that coming off the neck procedures, all the talk was about. He couldn't get his tricep to fire, so he had no arm strength. They, they told, David Cutcliffe has been here, the Duke coach, you've yes. been close with, with Peyton and Eli both. And, and Cutcliffe said that Peyton couldn't throw the ball across the room to him. You know, like he just yeah. he, he had no arm strength. And to, to do that coming off those three neck procedures is just all time phenomenal. Now, so, 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 but let me understand this. You're saying that. Uh, first in, in, in QBR, a first and, and a, a third, third, and then you think the next year is his last year? Uh, only that's what I, that's what I'm saying. I think if he, if they can protect him, if they can protect him, and he doesn't take those big hits, then he has the potential to continue to play. I don't think this this year would be his swan song if they can protect him. I know that's the, the caveat to this whole conversation. If they can protect him, I believe he can play two, three more years under the right protection in terms of the offensive line, and especially with the new emphasis of running the football, yeah, I, I think this could give him some longevity he could. Uh, because he's not going to take the amount of hits having to draw back as many times as he's and had. And they the do past. have a stable of running back. They go four deep, and they're yeah. all yep. pretty good. They're yeah, all pretty they're good. All healthy yeah. Now. Yeah. Yeah. And they're all healthy. And, uh, okay, maybe that way, but... If he has another game like the one at St. Louis, <laughs> right. I, I think he would start thinking, I just don't know if this right. is worth it anymore. Absolutely. Or also, if it doesn't work out with Kubiak in that yeah, new maybe. offense. Maybe. Yeah. That's right. All right. So you guys segued so nicely for me. Speaking of quarterback hits, should quarterbacks be fair game in the read option? Find out who thinks there should be an amendment to the rule. The bus is sticking around. We need your thoughts on yes, this. Yes, we do. We'd love to talk about it.